Good morning. Hi, this is Travis from National Weather Service, and this is your weather hazard briefing for Tuesday, February 6th. We do have another large system about to, uh, that is starting to hit us now across our area with atmospheric river moisture um, and southerly flow will bring some pretty high snow levels, uh, but high mountain snow above 6,000, 6,500 feet. I'll show those areas will be impacted, mainly the central, southern central mountains, as well as Lost River Range, Beaverhead, and Island Park area, uh, very similar areas to yesterday. And then we have another uh, system that moves in right behind it um, Wednesday afternoon to Thursday, and then some lingering snow into Friday as we have cooler temperatures uh, Thursday into Friday. And then it looks like it's uh, likely going to turn dry this weekend, maybe even for an extended period after this is over. Here is the current southerly flow moving to our area. There's a low off the coast of California right here that's just bringing in a good stream of moisture. We have another low that's over the um, on this long trough. It's going to kind of bring us a, a weak flow that moves over us that enhances that system that moves over us today and to tomorrow. Um, here's your lows. Uh, here's that long trough. And then there all of that moisture is moving right into Idaho and southerly flow. And here's that. <clears throat> there's, a, there's a series of lows here. There's a really weak low. Um, that shows up at the surface. This is the upper levels. That looks like it's going to move over us today. That will just enhance that moisture that's moving over us. Then you see this high pressure in general. There's another low out here. Uh, that, that's probably that's what's going to bring us over Thursday into Friday. But in general, this is high pressure um, that will build over us Saturday onward. So just to recap, uh, we're having a pretty good snow across our southern areas. Uh, Eastern Highlands, uh, Wood River, Lost R Range, and then that continues um, into Wednesday. With uh, again, we have some warnings into the southern central mountains, uh, Lost River Range, Lost River southern areas, as well as the Wood River area, and then those will continue into Wednesday morning. And then we'll likely need some advisories for Wednesday, and I'll show you all these areas. Um, Right here is the, the warning. This is generally, most of the heavier amounts will be above 6,000 feet, but we are looking four to nine inches uh, down low in, in this lower elevations, and then the higher elevations um, could easily get up to 12 to 18 inches, even up to two feet in some parts of the Pioneers. And then, uh, again, the four to nine inches down low. And this area here is unique. Again, we're looking for just southerly flow hitting upslope all these areas. And it's just that we're high, higher elevation. Uh, we'll be rain down low, but higher elevation. This area right here looks a good foot of snow along I-15, and that was the main reason we kind of put that one into a warning. Uh, potentially, this might get higher levels as well, but along the Wyoming border, the snow levels were quite high, 6,500 feet. So that's going to keep these snow levels down in the four to six inch range. But if the snow levels do drop, um, this area could potentially need to have a warning as well. Areas along the right on the Montana Divide are going to get that 12 to 18 inches as well, but the majority of where people live in the lower areas just do look like they have the smaller amounts. And then mountains across here just look like three to six inches overextended, um, even over 24 to 36 hours. So um, again, it's above 7,000 feet in a lot of these areas. So held off with any highlights in that area. Again, this is the time frame today, right now, through uh, Wednesday morning, and we'll likely need additional advisors for another system uh, Wednesday, Wednesday afternoon into Thursday morning, um, mainly just across our eastern areas. But I'll show you that here in a minute. Here's our temperatures for today. Again, uh, our morning lows are generally above freezing most across the area, so we'll have rain almost all across the Snake Plains, as shown. Um, potential snow melt uh, across these areas as well today in um, throughout today from Idaho Falls just just shown there's a, a broadband here they'll get a quarter to a half an inch of snow melt on addition to a tenth to a quarter of an inch of fresh rain uh, but here's your uh, your temperatures quite warm for the day's highs and here's again your snow amounts um, you can see quite quite heavy snow amounts 8 to 12 inches as we go up to the Minida and that's why that zones into a warning Again, we're just looking at four to six for the population areas for Island Park. So that's why that's state advisory. But 
but you can see there's some really uh, there's these areas here will get quite heavy snow amounts and that's why the warnings out and then advisories in this area and all this area in here is all going to get rain um, again a tenth to a quarter of an inch and then um, this areas will get snow but it's generally above 7,000 feet uh, for today here's a uh, lows still well above freezing tonight um, the cold temperatures don't happen until Wednesday afternoon late into Thursday morning and then you see our highs are quite warm as well uh, promoting that snow melt here's the snowfall amounts uh, for Wednesday um, again you can see it, it continues a good southerly flow it actually moves a little bit particularly in the afternoon along the eastern edges and likely need advisories for Island Park um, this is Wednesday afternoon to Thursday as well as uh, Big Holes and the Wasatch. Um, you do get some snow amounts as you go into Thursday morning, and I'll show you that here in a minute for across the Snake Plain, but very light. And here's your just Monday through Thursday general picture with combined of really three systems. So um, just showing how much QPF and, uh, and snow these areas are getting. Going to make up a lot of the deficits for the, the year in snow, particularly for these areas. Uh, here's our lows Thursday, all below freezing, so cold temperatures have moved in. And then here's your high, just barely above freezing. Snowfall amounts Thursday, you can see the lower snake plain near maybe a, an inch in some the northern parts of the, the southern snake plain. But the northern snake plain will get one to two inches fairly easy, maybe up to three inches. And then again, here's those areas that will likely um, need advisories. But as I mentioned, Wednesday afternoon, most of the snow is going to fall for the Wasatch, but... You can see a good portion of it still continues for the big holes in Island Park into Thursday morning. And then here's our temperatures Friday, still even lower, a low, mid to low 20s. And then the daytime temperatures barely get above freezing um, just for parts of Eastern Magic Valley. Some lingering snow Friday uh, as we have a little bit of uh, moisture moving through northwest flow, northerly flow aloft, but uh, not a lot, mainly in the Island Park area. And here's your... Um, Six to ten day outlooks. Here's your precip. Looks drier than normal potentially, um, as well as temperatures look to be cooler than normal. Um, that's different than what we've been seeing recently. And then same eight to fourteen, drier than normal, and cooler than normal uh, chances. So that just as a summary, we have a, a pretty good system hitting us today. Moderate to heavy precip, mainly over the southern central mountains, Lost River Range. Uh, Beaver Heads, Monetta Pass, and, and Island Park, where the warnings are out um, th today through Wednesday morning. Um, and then we'll have another system th uh, Wednesday afternoon into Thursday morning with cooler temperatures bringing in the afternoon. Uh, Wednesday going into Thursday morning with a chance of some uh, valley snow, but very light, generally just one to three, if mainly for the upper Snake Plain. And then uh, that we'll have a lingering light snow and northerly flow. Uh, Friday as we have those cool temperatures remaining. Looks like it turns dry through the weekend and potentially for the next week or two um, in the long-term outlooks. Um, but as you get out in time, that certainly does go down in, in confidence. But right now it's looking pretty good, at least initially for the weekend. It's going to be drier and cooler than normal. That concludes the brief. If you have any questions, give us a call at this number. Thanks.